Welcome to lesson eight. Be, uh, be sure to check out the PowerPoint presentation associated to this lesson. There's a lot of additional information cached there. So let's briefly talk about some of the aspects of circle casting covered in this lesson. Some of you are long distance students. You may be solitary and there is a solitary version of this ritual if you require it. If uh, that's the case, give us a call and we'll tell you how to deal with that situation. So for rituals to the order we have a commandery. The cast in this ritual is based on Knights Templar commandery. A commandery was an assembly of Knights Templar consisting of at least nine members. Commandery is the name that our order gives the cast members in the ritual. The ranks of the cast members are mostly actual Knights Templar ranks, but I'm using Templar headquarters ranks rather than the ranks the commanders used in the field. Commandery is also the name that our order gives to a group of Knights that are together, together to engage in training or energy work or magic. So the members of the commandery are the Grand Master, the Seneschal, the Marshal, Under Marshal, Standard Bearer, Quartermaster, Constable, Sergeant at Arms, there may be several, and the Squire in some cases. The ritual setups can be lead, led by either a man or a woman. The Grand Master can be either sex. The assistant of the Grand Master, the Seneschal, must be the opposite sex of the Grand Master. So if the Grand Master is a male, the seneschal must be a female, and if the Grand Master is a female, the seneschal must be a male. All the other commandery members can be of either sex. Every single ritual starts with the standard bearer pointing to our banner and saying, In hoc signo vincus, which is adapted from a motto of the Knights Templar, and it means, Under this sign thou shalt conquer. And also, at the beginning of the ritual, you see the under marshal doing a banishing, and it goes, Avant, avant, maleficum defense, oni soit qui malipense, which translates as, keep away, keep away, evil is forbidden, evil to him who thinks evil of it. This, of course, is a motto of another order of knights, the Order of the Garter, and my ancestor Edward III founded this uh, body of knights in 1348. And the PowerPoint will give you more information on this. So the Grand Master ultimately, when the circle is cast, says the circle is cast by air and fire, the circle is charged by water and earth. What is within the circle is between the worlds, a place that is nowhere and everywhere, a place of power. What is between the worlds does not concern the world, and then the whole cast of people who are there say, but can change the world. Pretty much self-explanatory. Often in a ritual, we'll do the warrior's admonition, which you see at the beginning of the PowerPoint presentation. This is put on by the Grand Master, Seneschal, Marshal, and Under Marshal. They recite the five stanzas of the admonition, uh, which you will also find in my book, Full Contact Magic. Always in our rituals, when the Grand Master and the Seneschal call on warrior aspects of deity, they use their own words. You, you look at any ritual we put up uh, on the training blog and you'll find that that's what the ritual script says. You decide which ones you're going to call if you're taking part as Grand Master or Seneschal. To, very often in the rituals we use the I Am song, that uh, Song of Paladins, which I described in the previous lesson. You can take a look there for that. Once everything is set up, magical working is done. Um, if it's a celebratory ritual like a Sabbath, this is where the, the actual Sabbath work is done. This is followed by what in a Wiccan ritual is often called cakes of wine. We don't do wine, we're a dry tradition, so we call it agape, uh, which involves sharing food and drink. Agape is an ancient term which means love feast. And then once everything is closed up and the quarters have been dismissed, Every single ritual ends with the words, the circle is open yet unbroken, the circle is ended but never the trust within, go forth now with the world and run straight at whatever you fear the most. And that's exactly what we expect our knights to do. So check out the lesson for further details on the Order's ritual casting and go out there and be glorious.